welcome back to my channel. If you guys want to see how I created my Eve look, please stay tuned um, and watch this whole tutorial. I can never say that. Oh, I'm sorry, distracted. Sorry, sorry, sorry. If you guys um, want to watch and how I do my makeup, please stay tuned and watch the whole tutorial. And I will... Um, I usually say everything that I used uh, in the video, so there you can always see and find it. I don't know if I'm going to leave the links below, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to leave every product that I use. So I'm not going to edit this video, I'm just going to leave it how it is because it's better you guys see it without edit videos to like get the idea and get the grip of what I'm doing. So I hope you guys like it. Please comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll shall talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Hi guys. So today we're gonna do how I usually do my eat makeup. So I'll wake up, get ready, and then you start prepping for your prayer. And uh, for my primer, I'm just gonna use a baby skin. apply that just to make my foundation last all day so I don't have to worry about anything I can't find my beauty blender, so I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna go over with my uh, this brush because this applies foundation like no other thing. So I'm just gonna. So what I usually do, bring it down to my neck. There, I'm gonna be showing. Bring it down all the way to that. Like that. I still want to do makeup, but I still want to, to look like my skin, so then I'm going to take Laura Mercier setting powder, and we're going to bake. couple minutes. I'm not gonna do it on my chin because I'm currently having um, some acne problem and I use acne medication. 
so that's how we're gonna look like don't worry it's all gonna go away so after that what I use is I use uh, Mac 130 it's a stippling brush but I like to use it to apply my powder foundation with this Because it gets all the product. If you don't like, um, you can always take like a big powder brush. Then I'm gonna. It's actually, this one is actually a blush brush, but I'm going to take that and apply. I'm actually going to use a powder contour instead of doing anything else. So for that, I could either use, let's use this one. Because we don't want I know a lot of people do makeup and they want to look so white, but that's not what we're going to do. So I'm wearing the dress I wore on my last eat. So. I'm gonna take you can take any brush and you just just gonna just dust that off. You can always contour your nose too. So I'm gonna do is take a little bit. I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna come right here. Just like that. I'm gonna try to blend those lines. So after that, um, we are ready to apply our blush or our highlight but before we do that we're gonna do our eyes and let me grab my primer I actually left it in here because okay easy access right so I'm gonna do my eye primer and I'm gonna bring my brushes I'm gonna put my face brushes away oops 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 before we drop everything Since I'm having a lot of acne issues, so I've been using a lot of acne medication and stay tuned. And, and I'm gonna give you guys um, the best, the best, what is called moisturizer if you're having super dry skin. I would suggest exfoliate your skin and apply that moisturizer on and you will see the result in one or two days like your skin will change into heavenly and no nobody sponsored me for this but this is my personal experience that I'm giving you um, information I got so we're gonna take any taper brush would work for this So what I'm gonna do, since I wore this orange dress, I'm gonna take Morphe's 35U palette. It has a couple really nice shade of oranges in here. So let's see what we're gonna take. I'm gonna take, um, a, oops, 
I dig into my thing. So I'm gonna take this color right here. I don't know if you can see, but I will definitely. It's the second to the second row to the. It's, it's less less bright orange. So I'm gonna apply this one in here on the center of my eyelid. If you want more orange, you can always put a setting spray on it and dip your brush into the setting spray and then apply it. That way it will give you really nice pigment. But since I don't want this much orange, the good thing about these eyeshadow is there is no fallout on my eyes. It's like a lot of eyeshadows don't do that. This is a really good formula they have for um, Morphe's. I really appreciate it. I only have their two palettes and one of their um, highlight palette. So. No, they do not sponsor me either, so don't worry guys, this is my honest opinion. Nobody paid for me to do opinions on that. But So after that, I'm going to take um, this really nice gold in here, right here, and I'm going to use that as my corner of my eyes. This is a really nice coral. It's almost blends with that orange, so that's why. And then take any small brush and use that. So after that, I'm gonna take uh, this softer brown in here, and we're gonna try to apply that right in here in my crease. And we're gonna build up um, the eye color. I'm gonna build up the brown actually. Best way to do your crease is put your head back like this, and then you can see it in the mirror. And then your eyes are not twitchy or whatever you call it. So you'll have a nice crease going on. Try to find my MAC brush to blend that out. So after that, I'm going to take this little darker brown, because I said we're going to build that. So I'm going to take that darker brown and apply it on the outer corner. I'm going to do the same thing in here. I'm going to apply that to the outer corner. Then whatever left on my brush, I'm going to bring it inside. For my highlight, you can use any brush, but I'm going to take, they have a nice yellowish color, I'm going to just take that and apply right under my brow bone to lift, lift that arch thing. So after I did that, I don't go super heavy on my makeup on, my, on the eat days. I'm going to take, this is Wet n Wild, their blush, and I'm loving it, I'm living for this. So I'm going to take my any super taper brush, either I could use, I could use this brush actually. So I'm going to go in with the brush like this. So I'm picking on product, picking on product. It's like you're getting the product on your brush like this, because I don't like to apply it on the stick like this. Ooh. to blend so after I applied that I really didn't like my blush how it's looking so I'm gonna take my blush color
So I put a little more brown, more blush that I like. I don't know, it's I feel like it took off my foundation from here, but it's probably just the way I'm seeing it. I don't know. So after that we do our eyebrows. And this is Morphe's brow palette 2, brow 8 it's called. Just gonna take the darkest shade, the powder, it's actually a powder. And we're gonna go a little heavy. I want a little too heavy. But it's alright because. Oh, this one. a little better. I was like, shit. I want a little too heavy on that. I know I don't, I don't have easy hands. Sorry, you guys are hearing a lot of super loud noise from the outside. That's my neighbors. They're doing things. This one is a little bit darker. Shit. See? We make mistakes. So, after I see, messed up, I'm going to do this and just swept away. So, I think this like, girl looks a little darker than the other one. <laughs> this probably is the other put too much on it, but it's okay. I can't find my spoolie, so I can't fix it right now, but it's alright. That's fine. Nobody gonna give us five point if we f fucked up, right? Okay, it's a little better. There we go. So after I do that, we're gonna apply our highlighter. So for the highlighter, it really like these shades. I, I wore the pink one too. It was really nice. I want to wear the soft pink. I don't know what's going to look on my skin. I think I'm going to wear the soft pink today. I don't want to go too crazy. So. So when I'm on the left, I'm going to play it. And, uh, so after that, let's do our eyes real quick. I usually don't wear false eyelashes. So I'm not going to wear it for the sake of the video either. But let's apply eyeliner and we're going to set our foundation makeup. After we did this, let's apply our mascara. This is so good. I usually curl my eyelashes, but you can curl them before or after. It's better if you curl your eyelashes before. I don't think so I'm gonna edit any part of this. I'm 
Okay. So, after this, we're going to take the brown shade, the darker brown shade, actually. I'm going to take, um, and I'm going to do, apply it right under my... Eyes in here. Just to give it a a little more depth. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So we're gonna finish it off with the lipstick. this. So that's how I do my Eve makeup and put some earring on and you're ready to go. Thank you guys for watching. Love you. Bye.